to on the glide slope for runway one. Controller says, hey, can you do runway 33? Um, because they want to get another airplane out beforehand. So this will give a little more time to the controllers to get an airplane off of runway one. 5342 transitions. Now 33 is over here. So now we're turning over here to the right. Here's my quasi example. So we're getting, so now we're pushing closer to the Blackhawk. Okay. So now we're going to get lined up on the glide slope for 33. Okay. Descending. Okay. So now we have, I'm going to put this a fixed marker on here for flight 5342. So we're just going to leave this airplane here to give you this example of how we can move or do something in this situation as the controller. So this is all about understanding where all these airplanes are. And there were four other controllers in there. So how are you utilizing those controllers? That's a part of best practice. The whole, everything, the whole environment inside there is a part of best practice. How you use it. How are we using these tools? I know I'm being redundant, but this is critical. Now, you remember earlier we talked about performance. What a controller needs to understand baseline performance of these aircraft, any aircraft they're going to control. You go to school forever. I mean, it takes two or three years even when you go to eight, you know, to, to Oklahoma City and then go to the facility. We used to go to the to the uh, in route air traffic control center in Seattle all the time. It, it it takes a lot. It's unbelievable that this happened. But anyway, so I need to know the performance of this aircraft. Re and even and even if I didn't, I have all kinds of other options as well. So this Blackhawk now is stepping down from 1,700 feet. So let's let's say for practicality purposes, they're doing 80 knots. Now they're down 1,500, and so as we go to point B, they report in. So we're using archaic tools. So I'm going to contact the Blackhawk. Pat 25, are you at location B? Pat 25 responds, yes, at location B. Okay, so now they're stepping back down here. And are you at location C? Let's say they're at 500 feet and they respond back, yes. Now, when we look over here, there's our glide slope. So what's the next point before the Blackhawk is going to turn inbound in this scenario? It's going to be point D, okay? And at D, we want them, let's say, to be at 200 feet, right? But let's say that the closure... So now they're coming to D, okay? Now here's going to be our position. This would be where the position of impact is. But let's say that right now our Blackhawk is somewhere between.